Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So in this video, we will talk about unit versus integration versus system testing. So in sometimes uh, interview question, they probably ask like what's the difference between those. So even though sometimes candidates uh, work on different types of testing, but they fail to answer the concept. So to make it easy, I will explain this concept with live example. Also check out a previous video where I have explained sanity versus smoke versus regression testing. So links are in the description. So before starting, please subscribe this channel and share it to your QA friends. Uh, uh, so let's start with the car example. So in previous video, we'll already talk about car example to extra get the concept of sanity, smoke and regression testing. So I am using same. So uh, first start with the unit test. So uh, let's say like uh, you are testing a car. So when car start manufacturing, uh, the smallest element needs to be tested. For example, if we consider the brake, so brake is the smallest element. So they don't have whole car ready to check. Like if we, I press the brake, car should stop. That time only they have brake. So they test the brake with uh, like simulator or uh, just uh, pressing like it is stopping or not. Uh, so all the uh, element which should be get triggered while you press the brake, it is steering or not. So unit testing is uh, like the smallest part or smallest function you are testing. So who can do this? So obviously like uh, this time uh, uh, nothing is ready and it is like internal part of like if you see the break even you can't uh, check like this is the break, right? So only the expert can know. So whoever made this break, they know like this is the break and this should how this should work. So developers who should do the unit testing but if Q has the knowledge of uh, uh, coding they can also give their inputs so for example other example is steering wheel so when you develop steering wheels so it is only the wheel so you you just check you can just check is like uh, you can uh, hold the steering wheels or not it has uh, three parts or not it has place to place the button of horn and uh, other uh, uh, steering buttons like volume buttons and call accept call buttons and all buttons are there or not so those kind of things uh, they just check while they create but now we come to integration test so in integration test what you can do so integration test is nothing but the combining the modules now we are combining steering wheels with the wheels so they just check like while rotating the steering the wheels are rotating or not uh, how much steering I should need to rotate to get the rotation of the wheels. So those kind of things like when it get combined and you are testing is integration test. So I will uh, explain in our software testing terms like software terms as well. This is to get started. So who can do the integration test? Now again, if Q has time and Q has the no basic knowledge, so they can uh, play with the steering and wheels, right? We can do that. No harm. Also developers can do this and uh, most of the companies developers write integration test automate integration test and also if uh, uh, QA is involved from beginning they can also perform little bit like they can play around like uh, developers can just test like if will rotating is rotating the uh, uh, the steering rotation is rotating the wheels or not but QA can test more like how much it should get rotated at what speed what force I have to apply. Uh, while running it is uh, uh, how it is working when it is stopped how it is working so those kind of testing uh, more testing can be done as an integration test now we come as a final product so now when car is got ready and everything is done right uh, all the modules are integrated so what we have left is the system so system is whole car so now you are testing whole car so you are testing everything, all the functionalities, performance, uh, mileage, everything you are testing, right? So there are security. So those kind of all the combination of test is called system testing. So now let's uh, give more time with our explanation with the software testing form. Like if we have form in website, so first like when developers start making the forms, they place this thing. So they have to check like each input, like for example, email input. So in email input, they will test like where, when I give correct email, it is accepting or not. If I give only numbers, I don't give at the right number. Uh, so it gives that validation error message and all. So they have to test that module first. So that is called unit test. 
after that like uh, when uh, from uh, they have combining for example they have uh, created one start date and end date so they have to verify like uh, the start date should be less than end date so those things or like uh, sometimes uh, this uh, your supervisor or pm so it should be the list uh, from server so they need to verify that so it part of the integration test like when one module is dependent to other and uh, they have to uh, when they combine they have to part but like when this form is ready and now you have to test so you are testing everything as per customer perspective like how much time it takes to load if i am able to fill all the forms correctly with incorrect and correct way i can click submit form and it is going to the it is publishing the data or not uh, whatever the purpose is there it is uh, fulfilling or not so this all kind of things is considered as a system test so again like system test versus integration test and unit test so if you check like uh, unit test is the first testing you should have so you should have more coverage on unit test it should be i think 100% coverage you should have unit testing so we have different types of tool to check the coverage of unit test and uh, also developers use different type of uh, 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 tools to write the unit test as well again like uh, in top of unit test we should have integration test and it should also be maximum after that we do system testing so where we test the all the system and then we do acceptance testing so unit testing is done by developers most mostly sometimes like if we have s dates they can do unit testing and integration more testing is also done by both QA as well as dev and uh, system testing can be done by QA and accept test testing is when the core code is go goes into production you are just doing acceptance testing like everything should be whatever should be work is working or not so this is how like we can differentiate different kind of the testing so hope this is a concept you get uh, very easily now so whenever you get being asked like what you perform what you do in integration testing or what you do in system testing you can answer but if when you answer it you will also get few questions like uh, functional testing comes in which uh, which kind of testing non functional testing comes in which kind of testing so functional as well as non functional both comes in the system testing only so in functional like black box testing we can say uh, we are doing as part of system testing but white box testing can be done using unit testing and integration testing so that should you should come into mind non functional testing like performance security uh, uh, accessibility those kind of system, uh, testing should be done as part of the system testing so i will create a video for each concept in the detail so how to write unit test or uh, how to write integration test what all to testing system test i have created one video to check like uh, uh, what all testing you need to perform to test a website so please check that out so thank you for watching this video please subscribe and uh, share it to your key friend uh, if you like the video like click on like button and uh, if you have any queries or any suggestion feel free to put the comments i will reply or you can join our social media i have put the links in the description also i keep on sharing funny memes in social media so you will like that thank you guys